Hello, I'm Kim Lundgren, a business analyst for Saliant Consulting and a certified Salesforce.com administrator. At Saliant, we build custom software for businesses, and my role is to help guide our clients in how to make the best possible use of Salesforce. This is an ongoing series of Salesforce basics, and today I'd like to cover events. What are events? Events represent a calendar entry in Salesforce. Event information includes a specific date, start time, end time, location, and invitees. Examples of events include meetings or scheduled conference calls. Create a new event by clicking on the New Event button on the home screen. You can also create an event directly from a specific record, for example, a lead. The New Event page displays prompting you to enter detailed information about the event. As usual, any field with the red bar next to it is required. The Assigned To field will pre-populate with your name, but can be changed. You can enter the subject by clicking on the combo box icon and making a selection, or enter in a new subject by typing directly in the box. Select the date, the start time, and end time. You can also check the All Day Event box to block out the entire day on the calendar. You can relate the event to a particular account, opportunity, etc., or to a contact. This is not required, however. Enter the location, as well as how you want the time to appear on your calendar. Phone number and email will pre-populate once you click Save as long as that information appeared on the contact or lead record. Enter description information if you want. I always tend to lean towards entering as detailed information as I can. Helps me to remember exactly what the event I scheduled was about. You can make the event reoccurring, meaning you can schedule multiple instances of your event, for example, a bi-weekly meeting. Set a reminder. This will generate a pop-up reminder about the event when you are logged into Salesforce. Add any attachments if needed. Clicking Save adds the events to the calendar. One more bit of information. If you do relate the event to a contact and you want to generate a meeting invitation via email to the contact, click the Add to Invitees link. Once I click the Add to Invitees link, my button options change at the top. It was Save, now I see Save and Send Update. This is because I am telling Salesforce to generate an email to the chosen contact. Ed Jones now appears in my Invitees section because I clicked the Add to Invitees link when I added him as the contact. If I want to, I can add additional people to this meeting by clicking the Select button and adding each person. Once I click Save and Send Update, email invitations will be generated to everyone I have chosen. You can always see your upcoming events on your Home tab. Events will display differently depending upon what kind of event they are, one-time or reoccurring, and if you have associated it with a specific record. For example, this software demo I scheduled is not a reoccurring event and I did not associate it with a specific record. The event I just scheduled with Ed Jones and others is a reoccurring event tied to a specific record. Thank you for watching Saliant Consulting's events video. If you'd like to see more of these videos, please visit our YouTube channel, Saliant TV. If you would like additional information on Saliant Consulting and what we could do for you, please visit our website at www.saliant.com.